National University and Congress for Agriculture and Forestry Status by Chen. International linkages by contributing to the realization of the university's vision and mission in accordance with its international task. 
the office of the Vice President for Business and External Affairs has a primary mandate to ensure that the international collaboration initiatives of the university are in place in compliance with this mandate. The International Relations Office implements its function in coordination with the teams, directors, and coordinators on matters of international linkages. The graduate school and other colleges comply with the international trust of the university for collaborating with partners in the ASEAN region. Different initiatives were conducted with the Universal University in Indonesia, the Universitas Mohamedia Professor Dr. Lanka, Universitas Maria Cruz, and Universitas Mela. The PhD graduate school students, together with PhD faculty members, actively participated in the International Forum in Indonesia and attended visits to international benchmarking in the region. Development, education, and plant science faculty members have also engaged in internationalization manifested through the initiatives to conduct international conventions and webinars. Further, PhD faculty members were also invited as keynote speakers and resource persons in the numerous international forum. In its continued internationalization initiative, the graduate school recently partnered with a national scientific organization and Universitas Maria Cruz in Indonesia in an international convention and scientific session. The university invited professors and scientists from national and international universities to share their research expertise in agriculture, forestry, and other areas of special concern to take on new research projects through the institutionalizing linkages of CDSUA with universities and research institutions. Under the ACTIC program, International Organic Agriculture Development Program, in the realization of the university's dedication to providing educational opportunities that meet worldwide standards. The Commission of Education recognized CDSUA's remarkable achievements in internationalization projects and quality management system on its road to become a world class university. As stated by its commissioner, Dr. Agri A. Rilla, in his motivating message. This international linkages in consortium endeavors made of a civic first internationalization and best practices of internationalization amidst the pandemic. The graduate school, in its quest to enhance internationalization initiatives, pledges to continue to strengthen its ties with international partners and be known worldwide. Okay, that's the very, uh, that's the kind of comprehensive presentation of the graduate school of CCSUB. Thank you, uh, being aware of that. And also to give us the introduction and presentation of the faculty of the College of Agriculture and Natural Our guest, uh, Professor Nishigori, for the Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Clara Del Haber. And of course, Mom, Julia Saul is the representative of our DP for research and innovation. And of course, the different program three persons, uh, students, faculty of animal science, and uh, other faculty of the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources. We have here a professor in the our uh, international uh, coordinator, and of course, the program person of the laboratory students in the city. Okay, so uh, the faculty of the planning to have important natural resources, and of course, of our three particular program.
Thank you, Dr. Ford, for your natural resources. And so, why did the certificate of agriculture from uh, since February 27, 2022? And the same distinction was again awarded on January 1, 2016 to December 2018. And the status of being under development and agriculture remained in effect through the CMO number to the series of 2019, uh, known as the extension of the validity period for designated centers of excellence and centers of development for various institutions. So until now, there is still a center of development for agriculture. And this is according to the Republic Act number 7722, known as the Higher Education Act of 1994 and, the, and by the virtue of the Commission and Inbound Institution number 672, 28 in December 1829. So the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources has three uh, different uh, buildings in which the different programs are also being uh, are also being uh, uh, held. So we have here the Kanyukan building, we have here the okay, we have the Yukana building, and in here we have the Agrosoids building. Okay, and here we are here today. Uh, the animal science will be, and we have the, another one is the uh, Department of Land Science, where the different courses in agriculture are being held. So, the College of Agriculture has three different uh, curricular program offerings, and one of these is the Bachelor of Science in Agroforestry. So the Bachelor of Science in Agroforestry is a curriculum, is a multi-dimensional curriculum wherein, wherein the learning is designed to prepare professional animals and so environment in the same unit of land, arranged either solidly, mixed, simultaneously, or sequentially in for cost of conservation and social economic development. So we have here the different faculty members of the agro-policy. So we and one of these is our campus administrator, Dr. Silvereno Pibisol. The, the program chairperson who is here with us, Ms. Dinalin Velasco uh, Silvereno, Mom, is uh, then, please. Thank you. So here is also some of the activities of our agriculture students. Then the next program is the Bachelor of Agricultural Technology. So the Bachelor of Agricultural Technology is a localized software-based curriculum for higher education courses embedded in the technical vocational education training program as well as the training regulations. It is a four-year degree program designed to enhance the knowledge desirable skills and attitude of the students in accordance with industry standards. It provides practical training for the development of technical and practical skills on both crops and animal production, processing, and management. Assessment of skills is necessary for certification, thus making them competent farm worker, professional farmer, farm operation, farm operator, manager, technologist, and entrepreneur. So we have here the uh, faculty of agricultural technology. So we have two uh, specializations. We have a crop production and animal production. Then also the, one of the important activities of the Bachelor of Agricultural Technology is the occupational internship program 
taken up by the student during the last term uh, in the university. Then we have here the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. So Bachelor of Science in Agriculture is one of the programs in, in which it has the most number of employees as well as the most number of faculty members. So yes. Soil science, pathology, entomology, and pharmacy. So there are a postgraduate degree courses in agriculture that is also in line with our baccalaureate degrees. And these are the MS in animal science, MS in agricultural extension, MS in crop protection, where there are two specializations the entomology and pharmacology, and of course the MS in plant science and the PhD in chemistry. So the BSC curriculum is based on the competency standards for agriculture, considering the latest development of the agriculture landscape of the Southeast Asian region and beyond. So the BSC program aims to educate students in the scientific habit of thought and entrepreneurial skills and preparing to become global competitive professionals with entry-level competencies and technical agriculture. It emphasizes the processes and techniques in identifying, diagnosing, and analyzing problems in designing strategy and applying technologies needed in the development and conservation of the agriculture and food system resources. The PSA degree is aligned with the level 6 of the Philippine Qualifications Program. So these are the faculty members of the BS uh, Agriculture Program. So in here are the faculty of pathology where yeah, myself is also included and we have the faculty of soil science and entomology. Also the faculty of the animal science uh, uh, who are here with us. So there's a uh, faculty of animal science so we please stand for recognition. So they are here with us. Then we have also the faculty of agricultural economics, where again uh, Professor Bukad is also included. Sir Bukad is here. <laughs> then also the faculty of the horticulture and agronomy. So we are the one teaching in, uh, in horticulture and agronomy. Then we have all we are also the faculty of agriculture extension and the community. And there are some uh, of activities of our students in BS Agriculture because they are required to take a summer program uh, called Skill Development, Skills Development and Practical. Aside from that, they are also taking their uh, on the job training program and at the same time they need to undergo undergraduate. And also, the college has six uh, administrative staff. So all in all, we have a total of 2,540 enrollments in the College of Agriculture, the PhD skills. This is the largest or the biggest in the university. And 2,021 is uh, enrolled in the PS Agriculture program. 241 for the PS Agroforestry, while 278 for uh, Bachelor of Agricultural Technology. The total number of faculty in the college is 66. So we are also the biggest in the university. And majority of the faculty of the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources are also handling uh, graduate courses. So that's all. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ms. Bandera, for your detailed presentation of our college program. And by the way, um, we are live um, today in the 30th FDH of CJ Extension.
So we are encouraging your students to kindly share both of this activity um, so that other students and objects can learn your knowledge skills and practices in animal um, printing of native chicken in Japan and Philippines as well. So we also acknowledge the presence of our other director of the extension, uh, Dr. Vladimir Kowanda in Sierra Dust. And also, we need to introduce our first resource person, speaker, or lecturer, maybe how we call on the uh, chairperson of the NA, Dr. Emma Hart. Thank you very much, Monty, to my colleagues in the Panar Graduate School and in the Department of Animal Science, my dear students. I am very much pleased to introduce a person who is an advocate of good animal breeding techniques. So, we and just do some justice to your accomplishment, Dr. Meshigori. So I just have to, to run down a few of the notes that I have here. So our guest lecturer is a professor in the Graduate School of Integrated Sciences for Life at the Hiroshima University in Japan. He is a Master of Agriculture and Doctor of Agriculture, degree holder from Hiroshima University, and now a visiting professor of Visaya State University by the since 2015. He has also participated in given catered lectures of programs and events, including Karakime to Kime Science. It is a meaning innovativeness and excitement of science for elementary school, junior, which was organized by Japan Society for the Promotion of Science and Yominabi Life of Technology, from the sponsoring agency of the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology. His lectures are always entertaining, easy to understand, and therefore become popular. And for this, Dr. Nishibori has received many awards for these activities. Professor Nishibori's research work aims to clarify the gene flow for the spread of chickens by using DNA information, and on the one hand, and on the other hand, physically observing local chickens and the other. As a researcher, he had mentored so many graduate school students who have conducted researches on domestic pigs, cattle, goats. I have here some of his 498 publications wow. and highlighted on Philippine pigs and Philippine chicken for his advices in Visaya State U and Chapman State University. Just look at the going to the mitochondrial level. See? 498 chan. Ito na Okay? And they are published in the following journals. So, journal Animal Science Journal, Frontiers of Genetics, Poultry Science Journal, Reproduction in Domestic Animals, and so on and so forth. These researchers made him come up with 151 publications and garnering 3,026 citations by other researchers. Okay. Actually, Friday life. We don't know your birthday, your family, but we know your motto. 
Your motto is what you like, you will do well. Oh, in Filipino, kung anong gusto mo, gagawin mo. Diba? That's his driving force. What you like, you will do well. And truly, Dr. Nishibori has shown so much passion and dedication in the academy as a professor, mentor, researcher, and an influencer in the field of agricultural science, particularly animal breeding and genetics. So, my dear colleagues, it's an honor and a pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Masahidi Nishibori. And he is wearing a necktie with native chicken. Another warm round of applause for our Compared to, to my 
using the DNA sequence. Okay? Here. Okay. An example part. In the four channel part, maybe a red channel part. This will be the variety from the India, north of India to the Nepal, Bhutan, here the South uh, East Asian countries, to the country Philippines, Indonesia. Yeah. Uh, let's jump up. This will be the variety. Okay?
dan power Untuk menghadirkan Interesting, interesting video Untuk dia orang besar Do game Naked, naked, naked Tapi kalau power itu sebelah Easy to use Kan up Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's the problem. And the human. Yeah, very, very dangerous. See, you know, no, and I'm not going to do it. And this is the meat supermarket. And do that. Very, very, very hot. Very hot. So, they ate, they ate the food, uh, uh, she ate the diet. Yes, and the Buddha, yeah, and this is the Buddha jungle park, right? Yes, yeah, but that's that's Buddha some Buddha Buddha, let's jump park, let's jump park, okay? Please see that, especially the car of the yellow, yellow, what? You know, what color? Because the W yellow, what? What color? White, red, and then you know, then all the most of the media are white. Sometimes are red. And the girls, 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 white, white, yellow. Yes, other, like, red, yellow. Okay? Yeah, so they eat that as well. Yes, and the at the blue car, we found us on the red jungle power in the field, like this, and the male and the female, one pair of them. Yes, but it is a difficult to catch the point in the correct uh, result. Yeah, they are very easy to buy, <laughs> easy to buy, and not to, not to catch. Yes. Okay, so many, many uh, samples of uh, our uh, red jungle power like this. Okay. 
okay, and other A, B, C, concept. So we collect the sort of many, many samples in the world. Then, and the analysis, oh, okay, I can like this. Yes. Yes. Okay. At first, I mean, from the very jungle part, and your country, your country, that Indonesia, uh, Dallas, Dallas, Bankiba, uh, Dallas, Dallas, Bankiba, here, Bankiba, yellow is white. So this one, type is B. Here, India, girls, girls, blue, and the yellow color is a red. So this one is a type E. And the minor one, A is here, B is here, C is here, and modify so many, many others. The major is a B and E. The your country, and okay, result of your country, the name is D. D is a very important. Maybe the first uh, uh, Southeast Asian countries might we decide. Okay? Uh, this is the mic on the other one. So we decide the uh, nuclear sequence of the new uh, region. Yes, here. And the A is B. B is I like the E is a group. Um, because you use a sort of name and about the white book. If he has the world in the country, this is the is a B. B is a new country of origin. Maybe. Which is like this.
and then jump to the moon. Why is there more? Very big. Very big. So the young man is a very big stroke. So please, that's a huge surface. The plant is a very big resource. Okay? Yes, also. And the main thing is the D. And the young man is a very big stroke. It is a worldwide. Why do they more?
um, coming up to a higher level of our research. So thank you very much, Dr. Nishibori, for giving us so many challenges to improve our genetic uh, animals. Okay, so we have the, the different breeds of native chicken. The different breeds of native chicken where uh, we have the, our very own Camarines chicken. So, but we are going to show you it later. So we have this now presentation of Sertario. I'm very proud of him because of all my MS students. He was the one who accepted the challenge to conduct something, a study on uh, Philippine native chicken. Uh, most of my students refused because, oh, it's so hard to raise native chicken. It takes long. So they prefer to raise broilers and quail, but this one, uh, Sir Carlo has bred the challenge, and this research won second place during the science and technology uh, competition for the graduate school. First place in the poster competition of the same. Uh, graduate school, and then lately he won in the regional competition, a uh, third place for his political participation this year. And as a proud advisor, I am very much uh, honored to present the research of my advisee, Sir Carlo Sabales, now a colleague in the Department of Animal Science. Sir Carlo, thank you so Thank you, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, uh, good morning to our distinguished guest, Professor Sidhuri. Uh, we are uh, very, uh, you are very much welcome to our department. Uh, and to the, uh, to my colleagues, to my dear colleagues, I am here to present the research outlook. Uh, as I said, in the name of Emma, there's a very big gap between the researches that was conducted by other countries and with us. And that's why a collaboration is very important to improve our researches, our agenda towards the development and enhancement of uh, instructions and for research and still for the students the importance of our native chicken not just uh, in, in our university but as a country as a whole. So this is our uh, research uh, title the fertility, sexuality of eggs and survival rate of chicks from cross-breeding of career and breeding chicken. Together with my, uh, my advisor, Mom Emma, a very supportive one. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> so, I mean, we are very far from uh, gene sequencing or about um, gen types because of big lack of equipment and facilities. We are, we, we accept that as a fact, but we are very far from that. However, uh, as, uh, as I said by Mom Emma uh, before, this is the uh, one of the uh, pioneering studies that we can provide uh, as of the moment at the initiative actually of the department. Okay, to start. Okay, this is uh, the background of the study. The local chicken has profound potential for upgrading. 
So we threw a cross-breeding with improved commercial birds to increase meat and egg production. So that, that is actually the box of the study. So to improve the, uh, the stock, the Philippine native chicken using a higher uh, breed. Okay. So we know that Philippine is an archipelagic uh, country. The vast uh, oceans, mountain ranges, and uh, the, the transportation it inhibits the uh, genetic drift from one locality to another locality. That's why later I will be presenting uh, different breeds that are uh, adapted or recorded based on the literature. Okay, so the role of Filipino chicken in Filipino agriculture and the environment we cannot be ignored. Uh, as presented by Professor, 45% of the total uh, chicken that we can found in different countries is actually native chicken. So why not focus on improving this uh, local chicken that later on will benefit our uh, communities? Okay, these are uh, the objective of the study. The first one is in terms of dairy percentage or egg production of every heads that was crossed in between the two skirts. And then on uh, the weight, the weight, the height, this is more on the egg characteristics. The fertility rate and percentage has to be the and uh, survival rate of chicks from day on to 14 days. Okay, this is the cover head. So as you see, the confirmation of the body confirmation of the papir. This is actually made from India based on the So uh, this is a papir head that was used in the study. Uh, I've chosen this one because of the body infirmity. In terms of egg production, they are good. At the same time, in terms of meat production, they're also good. Okay, so they are, are the best animal that we can use for experiment and improving our existing alone chicken. This one is a computer rooster. Same uh, characteristics from a uh, head with a large body. No? Then, uh, how about this one? This is a uh, Kamalini's rooster. Our very own. And the Kamalini store has its own alley uh, chicken. The Kamalini store has its own The Kamalini So the Kamalini chicken, Kamalini rooster, that is the rooster that was used to cross with uh, the people men. The next one is the Parawakan. This is actually native from Palawan. Native from Palawan is uh, also included in the uh, Philippine native chicken. The next one is the Balawan rooster. This is native from Balangas, still in the Philippines. Okay. So this was the experimental design and treatment. That was used at the study, so uh, the papir to papir, which is uh, in 3D, uh, kamalinis to papir, barawakan, and barawakan. So the kamalinis or the liquid chicken are all loser, and then all the papir are hen. Okay, this is the experimental area. This was conducted actually in, in our department, the poultry uh, project. Okay. This is the, they are lived under previous system. Okay. Okay, these are the results. There are no differences in terms of egg production. These are uh, the breeding uh, period, different breeding period. In terms of the weight, there are no differences when we analyze it using uh, Design, parental design, analysis. And then in terms of B, there is no differences 
Although there are differences in uh, values when we put it or analyze it using uh, statistical analysis, there are no differences. There are, uh, they are similar. Okay? So, in terms of fertility, there is not. However, in terms of possibility, the upper lapan and a higher possibility uh, percentage compared to the midrib uh, eggs from the middle. So, this is uh, actually promising the four percentage. And the same with uh, the banana compared to the Yes. No, sir. That, that, that's actually a uh, range under a pre -range. Yes. Yes, they are pre In terms of a uh, survival rate, there are uh, lower uh, survival rate, however, it's comparable to the result with other people. Okay, the same has weight is also significant. The weight of two weeks old. This uh, one I included in uh, this uh, presentation because in industry standard, the weight of the cheese is actually one of the reasons. If we're going to class, uh, classify them, class A, class B, or class B. Okay. These are the conclusions. The main percentage of the beer head is a significant influence. The egg weight will be the height, the egg characteristic, and a significant also. The same way uh, the fertility and seven and fertility weight of that weight. The percentage of security, the parawapan, the higher uh, percentage of security and parawapan that was crossed in the beer and the lapan of the that the beer of the beer is the and then the survival rate is also not possible. So, the following are the recommendations of the study based on the results. It is uh, recommended to use Marawakan, but the Bakapali is uh, straight to improve the diversity such BDP and also the cheek hatch rate. Conduct several studies using native heads instead of human heads with under intensity step. Okay, in order to verify the result of the study in equity, sperm leads can be added as parameters. Uh, as you can see, sir, um, there are actually parameters that are simple to do, however, we will have the facilities or equipment to run the uh, parameters. Okay? And last one, it is recommended to continue the process study to assess the work before our of a crossfit. This is actually one of the limitations of the study. Uh, because of the very short uh, or limited time, I say I need to graduate in time, so we can be able to capture the performance of the crossfit. We're just uh, until the uh, survival. Okay. Okay, these are our documentation that still we have in the project. Now, this is a one year old cross of here and Parabakan head. This is the cross of uh, the result of the sun. Yes, well, we can see it later on the project. And then this one. Uh, a wonderful cross of uh, Kabir and Banaba. So, uh, uh, as you can see, sir, the, the differences in terms of the weight, although the, the conformity is there, however, the, the resulting offspring is very different from its parent. Okay? Then the next one is a wonderful cross of Kabir and Banaba. So the, the large color is all the same, however the conformity, the value conformity is very different. That's why we are eager to continue the study. Okay, so one of the research initiatives for collaboration, this is actually a proposal, an uh, initiative proposal of the department that was submitted to the department of agriculture. 
With the title of the proposal, the production performance and reliability of the chicken strain, in the region and community based chicken raising for meat and egg production. So, this is a uh, dual purpose uh, research. We have uh, research here and community based so that as uh, a result of our study later, the technology will be transferred out to the community. Okay? The uh, program have a different uh, project. There are actually three projects. And under each project, we have process and then the study three is the gross characteristics and quality of community chicken salmon using different standards and the study three of this one is our very own mom and mom person and for the study four we mark us sensory and egg quality characteristic this will be led by mom Carmen for the diet and then the last two it is approximately the utilization and value adding of the chicken meat and eggs. Study leader is a basis of human materials in general. Then study six, the last one is the incidence of diseases that guys can meet in chicken. Mr. Akumai is the one that will lead this study. The project two is the community based in chicken, it's more on extension. After we conducted the, the, the research or the study, the technology from that research will be later sent to our communities. So after this project, we have uh, the first study is the production performance of native chicken and community raising staff. The first and third analysis in uh, Venezuela. And the last one, uh, the project three is the production of IBC material. As well as the services uh, like uh, collaborative uh, study from our very own faculty. This is actually an initiative of the department to uh, continue the involvement of our department in improving the chicken. chicken. Not just uh, improving this uh, stream, but actually to uh, extend this technology to our local part. That is all for you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Emma, for sharing with us the result of your study and for the possibility of exercise by the of kids from prosecuting of from your education to the chicken. So the lecturers provided us additional knowledge on chicken investigation, genetic diversity, and migration to the worldwide economy, education, and education. And I'm also, um, Sir Cardinal presented to all of the development effort to the proposed projects, or I guess they those projects or top projects for the United States. So, and now, I guess, for the uh, awarding of certificate, before the open forum, and we okay. We will proceed first with the awarding of the certificate. Awarding of the certificate is the research person. May I call our professor to the public and have the power to the RI, the program of the Federal Council of the U.S., together with our team, the chairperson, So, allow me to read the citation. Certificate of Commendation is hereby given to Professor Ricky 
Eastern Light given to Professor Ashiguri Mazakini for his time, effort, and expertise as a resource expert on the topic animal breeding system chicken in Japan. During the academic collaboration with Horatio Mount University on March 7th of 2023, given the seventh day of March 2023 at the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources at the Federal State University of Agriculture, San Jose signed by our SUC President 5 for Alberto Kenya Perry. For this token, also may we have our chairperson of agriculture program, Dr. Professor <laughs> 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 Our 
uh, are, they are in our location with so much uh, natural disasters. They can fly right away when volcanic eruption happen. And when there's typhoon, when there's flood, they can also get their own uh, safety. But this cover and take things like that. Of course, they're heavy. For food production, I think uh, they're good for us because we can produce a lot. But for our uh, condition, so what, what message can we give to our researchers to
your expertise that you have shared with us, also to Sir Carlo and Sir Carlo Marcia. And I guess we will we'll proceed now for these closing remarks. So may I call on um, from Professor um, Kisel, Isidario, uh, the coordinator of Animal Science. Um, if you have of the Department of Animal Science and the uh, College of Agriculture and Natural Resources, I think we are accepting um, our request and since our time to our first speaker from the Michigan University, Dr. Matthew Nishimori. Okay, so thank you so much, sir. And um, to our key officials, to our team of the graduate school, um, as a fire um, a bird, uh, the of the canar, Dr. Martin Baperas, and to our uh, uh, program chairpersons of the back, Sir uh, Raymar Manalico, to the BISAC uh, program chair, Mom Jenny, and to the BSA program chair, Mom and Mom Marcia, and um, to Mom Julia Sao and Sir Raymar Dukat, and to the uh, special division. Uh, for the live um, coverage of this uh, seminar, uh, for us, Dr. Vlad Paranda. And um, to our other students who are patiently attending this lecture on the animal duty. So we hope that um, you have given me an interesting in your mind the importance of the animal duty for our sustainable agriculture. So you must. Um, 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 use this knowledge to gain knowledge in your own uh, um, production. So thank you very much for listening and um, I hope that um, you will share this knowledge that we have gained from our guest um, speaker from Hiroshima University. Thank you so much.